she spends most of her time on MSNBC talking about cases she's going after Republicans. Great. I'm, I'm not against that. She has not had to answer to anyone. She's lucky that she ran against for re-election a, a crackpot. So, I mean, if it were me, I'd find a company that will, you know, donate some buses and I'd line up Flint residents on the buses and go to the attorney general's office. Jordan, we can't get them on there. We can't even get people to come downtown. Like you said, it's corruption everywhere. Yeah. People are tired. And, and people are scared too. People are scared of, of speaking out. Yes. Because in Flint, you speak out too, too much. You might get a tax lien on your home. You might get a bill. Uh, you know, I've talked to people. Suddenly they spoke out. Suddenly they're getting bills at their home for uh, over overdue water payments that they're not even using the water. Suddenly you're cut to part time on your job of 20 something plus years. Stuff happens. I know. And this will be in my book, too. I know activists who spoke out who had their uh, breaks cut. Well, they just put my, my address out and. Council person do, dox do me. Like yeah, that to scare you. yeah. I had a but person on there. That's him. To me, and I think this is broader than Flint. To right. me, the answer, and this is easier said than done. Listen, people could protest in the streets till we're blue in the face. We could keep protesting 